So I just wanted to show you guys how at the end of every semester, this is how I put all of my notes into a binder. So I'll just get like a two inch binder and I put all of the uh, labels that I had on the smaller binders on. So all of these are just like my sticky notes that were here. I have some worksheets and then here's my calendar and this was also so basically the quiz blueprint and then this was the exam blueprint so here's exam one and then exam two exam three so how I break down my binders is I break it down with the content for each exam. Here's the conversion chart. And then I also have them all in these um, clear dividers. And here's a conversion chart that I personally have that just looks more aesthetically pleasing. Some medical terminology suffixes because this semester was all about medical terminology and then this was my syllabus and how I did it was I let me turn it this way so you can see so I flagged where it started and so what I would do is, this would be the content that would be, you know, for this week. And so week one, these would be the learning outcomes. So once I was able to fully explain these things, that's when I knew I had everything down. And these are basically the readings. So, this one I didn't do it for. But in the next semester, how I would do it would be, um, and these are just some more sticky notes. So these, I guess, sticky notes, they divided each topic. And then these tabs. So, okay, here I did it. So what I would do is, this would be a section, right? And so these would be some notes that I took. And then I would have then I would have the portion of the syllabus that was relevant to the, the topics. And you see how I would highlight when I was finished. And so here's like some more sticky notes. I'm really like a sticky notes kind of gal, if you can't tell. And so basically under here, it's more topics. And so yeah, I at the end, I have a stamp. My daughter gave me a stamp. So at the end of every semester, I would just take all of the binders and just put them all together into one big one. And here's actually a couple of things that we needed to do for the second semester, which I just passed. So here's some more sticky notes. The syllabus then here's the PowerPoint and then here's some notes that I took so yeah that's just basically how I divided each semester's work after it was done because honestly I'm just gonna look back on all of this and study 
right before I have to take the NCLEX, like just in case I have to go back on anything. And this is just basically extra exam blueprints and everything because I would just print them out and have one in each binder because I wouldn't um, take the binders apart until the semester was over because having the information condensed would make it so much easier for me to study it and not be overwhelmed. So this was the first semester. Now I'm gonna show you the second semester's book. This is my second term binder. So here we have some flashcards and these are the different types of anemias, transfusion complications, these are basically all of my hematology flashcards. And um, the musculoskeletal um, lecture. Then right here I have um, basically some clinical paperwork. Here's some sticky notes. I have, I think I was jotting these down during my clinical class. So once again, right here, we have the exam blueprint and I'm just gonna zoom in. So yeah, exam one, exam two, exam three, exam four, and these are all the topics. And then, let me just zoom in. That was the final exam topics. So now we have the schedule, conversions, nursing process, medical terminology, these are, so at the end of every exam, we get one of these printouts, well we used to before COVID, and it tells you like in each section how many you got wrong and what you should study. Like, you know, you need to study more in, you know, activity and rest, but perioperative nursing I just have to review. So then, this is my syllabus. And what I do is I just flag where it starts. And then here we have the first lecture and see, I highlight. And then here are my PowerPoint. Oop. And then the page that is so here's the page of my syllabus that goes with this part of the lecture and here's some notes and then the next section so once again syllabus I have some notes some notes and then I also have questions that I like to this semester what really helped me is like so I would find the textbook and then the questions that went with that chapter I would just print them out and answer them so that's just what I would do. This is like a ticket to class. So this is where we stop. So all of this was exam one. So now exam two. We have perioperative, so we have PowerPoints and I print my PowerPoints from my computer because I like the pictures in color. So yeah, PowerPoints, questions, and that's just basically what it looks like. The page of the syllabus that goes with it, 
PowerPoint notes. And then we have questions at the end. So I'll read through the PowerPoint. I'll listen to whatever um, goes with the lecture. I'll read the study material if I'm not understanding something and then I'll answer all of the questions. So PowerPoint, so sorry, syllabus, PowerPoint, and then questions. So right here is the exam two, and this is basically all of the notes that I took for all of the topics, and I just typed them up and printed them out for a study guide. So this was on like medication administration, um, vital signs, we had medication actions, pharmacology nomenclature, pharmacodynamic phase, medication and food interactions, and then routes of administration. So yeah, that's just basically how I set up my binder after the semester's over. And what I like to do is like say some of my friends, these are also more questions. Some notes. So I like to, you know, pass my notes on to my friends that are in the semesters below me and then my friends that are in the semesters above me, they say like, hey, make sure you know, you study this. Here I have study guides for this. Mainly try to focus on study guides from your school because I don't like buying study guides from other people. I have in the past and it has helped me a little bit, but mainly when you work with people who are in your program, you tend to get the information that the professor actually teaches. So yeah, that's what I recommend. So now we're going to set up a binder for the first exam because next Wednesday is the first day of lecture. I also have a folder with all of my handouts. So these are clinical um, case studies that we were doing because we had to do clinical online. And this is just like a chart I made for fluids and electrolytes, you know, sodium, potassium, calcium. So we have the signs and symptoms, the causes, and like hypocalcemia, hypercalcemia. We have the ranges. What else do we have in here? Oops. We have some math problems. More questions, questions, mainly just big, big, big thing for questions. That's what helped me. And so these are from my PowerPoints. These are just visual aids, a study guide I made. So here we have um, all of the things that were on my final my fourth exam basically taking things from the powerpoint making study guides uh this is the third exam study guide and these are all just basically like study guides clinical paperwork concept map care plans um what else more Let's see, more visual aids. I have an HP printer and I get the subscription subscription for ink, so that's why. So yeah, more visual aids. These are all from my PowerPoints. What I do is I just click on the actual picture 
and I print it out. And then these are like my ATI assessments. And this was like for my um, project I had to do for clinical. These are some tickets to class that I had to do. So yeah, these are, this is all the extra paperwork from this past semester. So none, like it couldn't all fit in the binder. So I just was like, let me just add, add these things to a folder and I just put it right on my desk. Okay, so now we're gonna go to my school's website and we are going to print out everything from we're basically going to print out everything that I need so I'm going to go to um, my course shell first let me make sure I have paper in my printer this is just the paper that I use I have a huge box Okay, so now we're gonna go to the syllabus. I'm gonna download the syllabus. And we're gonna print out. I print double-sided. This is just the exam quiz content. we're printing out everything that has to do with exam one so we can upload it not upload so we can add it to our binder and then I'll show you exactly how I put together my binder for each exam because what I showed you was just how I put it to get like put everything together once the semester is done so this is what we have so far. I printed out the syllabus. I printed out the exam schedule. I printed out my actual schedule for my course. So what they do is they have the weekdays and the weekends. Everyone has a different schedule because it goes by your clinical um, class. So my clinical is Sunday. That's why Sunday's sold out and then lectures Wednesday. And so if you, say you have Monday, Tuesday clinical, your Monday, Tuesday will be filled out, Wednesday, Thursday, Saturday, etc. And then these are the first one, two, three PowerPoints. I'm printing out the fourth one now. And then I think I have probably, which one is this? peripheral vascular so I have like one two three four five more that have to be printed out so there's going to be five powerpoints that I have to study on top of the readings and then the clinical work I also have to print out everything for my clinical um, binder so yeah bunch of fun today Okay guys, so I printed everything out that has to do with exam one and then my syllabus. And so now what I'm going to do is grab a binder, which I keep, I actually took one out already, but I keep all of my binders here. 
and these are the ones that are already um so semester one semester two and then these are the ones that i use to break down the quizzes and this is just the empty binder so i'm gonna put semester three's work in here so i just grabbed this binder and then i have these dividers that i'm going to use i got them off of amazon they came like this and so now i am going to put everything hole punch and put everything in the binders so now let's go there okay so this is the binder you open it here's my schedule for the semester the exam so basically what's on the quiz was on the exam is the distribution so everything that's in this binder is exam one so lectures one two and three and then i also have to print out these things and they also tell you how many questions that can possibly be on that section so i have an exam prep checklist the textbook conversions and then the math conversions guide we have my PowerPoint, I mean, my syllabus, which I'm going to actually go through. Because say you have, look, week one, two, and three, and this is everything that has to be covered. which I honestly have to reprint just basically the course learning outcomes because I did this front and back and I need it to be one-sided. So then you have the first section and usually what I'll do is I'll put the part of the syllabus that correlates with this and then so far and so forth and if you see these little sticky tabs it's because the PowerPoint was either one it was really small and I didn't want to waste a section or two they coincided with each other like peripheral vascular system and peripheral like see peripheral vascular system assessment and then this is the peripheral vascular system management of disorder so they coincide with each other this was a really small powerpoint so i just added this powerpoint to it and then these are just like the last of it and then this orange one is some questions so yeah, that's just what my binder overview looks like. So yeah, that's just where we are right now. I am going to put this away and then what I'm going to do is actually take out my planner and go through the entire semester, write down everything. And I think I'm going to film that as well. And what I'm going to do is, I'm actually looking at my cat because she's sleeping and she looks nuts. So I'm going to go through my planner, write everything down in my planner, take my textbooks. And then what I'm going to do is use sticky notes to color coordinate my textbook. So I know what section exact like goes with this. So I know what goes with, you know, exam one, exam two, and et cetera. So here I am on a Saturday and I'm about to mark up. 
this book so I can begin going over the work because I've been slacking and school starts on Wednesday and I should have had at least um what was textbook chapter three I should have had at least the first three the first two lectures like done studied ready to go so yeah let's get this done okay so now I got both textbooks that I need and then my binder I just got some sticky note tabs and a sharpie and I'm going to write basically exam one I'll probably use the orange and I'll just tab up so I know what to read exam one on here and I think I need to get a black sharpie I mean it probably won't be such a big deal yeah no I think I'm gonna write on every single one because I only have three of these colors and we have no we actually have three exams so I should be good exam one two and three I also have to take off my nail polish but yeah so I wrote exam one on the orange so I know that the orange will be for exam one and then let's just mark up these books so yeah, hopefully you guys liked this video. And if you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe. And I'll see you in my next video, guys. Bye.